Hey everyone, today we have the death of Jesus, so I'm not going to say a whole lot about it. It's a little bit longer reading, but let's hear what John says. Then Pilate handed Jesus over to be crucified. The soldiers took Jesus prisoner, and carrying his cross by himself, he went out to a place called the Place of the Skull, in Aramaic, Golgotha. That's where they crucified him, and two others with him, one on each side and Jesus in the middle. Pilate had a public notice written and posted on the cross. It read, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. Many of the Jews read the sign, for the place where Jesus was crucified was near the city, and it was written in Aramaic, Latin, and Greek. Therefore, the Jewish chief priests complained to Pilate, Don't write the king of the Jews, but this man said, I am the king of the Jews. Pilate answered, What I've written, I've written. Jesus' mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene stood near the cross. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom Jesus loved standing nearby, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. He said to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that time on, the disciple took her into his home. After this, knowing that everything was already completed, in order to fulfill the scripture, Jesus said, I am thirsty. A jar full of sour wine was nearby, so the soldiers soaked a sponge in it, placed it on a hyssop branch, and held it up to his lips. And when he had received the sour wine, Jesus said, It is finished. Bowing his head, he gave up his life. Really, the main focus of the way that John tells this story, the death of Jesus, is on how Jesus is in control through all of it. He dies on his own terms. You know, as he said earlier in this gospel, no one takes my life from me. I lay it down willingly. And so you see little details, right? He carries his own cross. Uh, he chooses to give up his life. He knows everything has been completed, and that's when he lets that happen. It is finished is the traditional translation of what Jesus says at the end here. But we all know that the story is not over. Jesus, though, has completed his redemptive work, glorifying the Father by standing in solidarity with those who are affected and suffer under the, the power of sin, the sin of the world. And so the way of God has been revealed, and it's, it's seen in the Son of God willingly giving up his life out of love. So what about us? Maybe in some way we'll be like Jesus and we'll take up our cross. Probably not suffering in the same way, but, but maybe something that, that is painful. It's not easy. But if we can't be like that, maybe we can be like the women who stand as witnesses. Not shutting our eyes to the pain and injustice of the world. Not running away or denying our deepest commitment to those we love out of fear. But to stand with those who suffer and trust that God is still present.